Richard Lee from Cisco Japan. Today I'd like to show you how to configure the local EEP on a Cisco wireless LAN controller. Now let's get started. Now here is my uh, controller 2504 and um, in order to configure the local EEP uh, let's click the security tab. Click security, click local EEP and click profiles. You will get a list of the available profiles on your controller and also please click new to add a new profiles. Let's, look, uh, let's use local peep for this example. Click apply and also please check peep if you want to enable the peep authentication for this profile. And I'd like to add one more uh, which use eep fast. Local fast, apply and also you need to check eep fast in order to enable this authentication method. Now uh, you can also click the profile names to get a verification of the configuration inside this profile. Next you need to add one local user. Um, let me use Cisco as a username and also Cisco as a password. For local eep they are going to use this uh, local network users as a uh, user database. I have already have two wireless and profile configured on my controller. Uh, first, I would like to configure the local PEEP. And I'm going to click here uh, and enable the local EEP and use the local PEEP as a profile for this authentication. And also, I have a local FAST. Uh, click security, click a, a server, and also enable the local EEP authentication and select the local FAST as the authentication profile. Now I have two wireless LAN configuration uh, on this uh, wireless LAN controller. Now let me connect my iPad to this wireless LAN. And here's my iPad. I'm going to connect first to the local PEEP. And click the PEEP and uh, will request my username and password which is Cisco and Cisco. Click enter. It will show me the certificate from the controller and uh, let me accept the certificate and here I am I'm connected to the wireless LAN it's just this simple and I get this IP address as 90.2 let me go back to my controller and uh, click the clients and uh, yeah here is my iPad I had the same IP address and also I'm connecting to the local PEEP SSID and uh, let's see I'm using the local uh, username as uh, Cisco to authenticate and also the authentication method is PEEP here. Now as you can see I have already finished the configuration and the verification of the local PEEP. Now in order to do the EEP fast on an iPad and an iPhone you will need to use the iPhone configuration utility. Uh, here is the example of the iPhone configuration utility. Uh, you need to configure the uh, profile name which I use local fast and you need to have an identification here um, just make up one and so then what you need to do you need to configure the Wi-Fi profile uh, get a new profile uh, here you need to you, you need to configure the SSID you are going to con uh, you're going to connect it to which I use local hyphen fast and also uh, the authentication, the security method uh, you can use WPA, WPA2 Enterprise and uh, yeah, let's uh, check EEP fast and here is, a, uh, here is a trick you have to uh, enable the pack and also you have to enable the provisioning of the pack and um, this is by default disabled in the iPhone and iPad now let's uh, check everything here and uh, yeah I just finished the configuration of a profile and next let me connect my iPad to the computer uh, to my MacBook and uh, install this uh, profile into my iPad here is my profile which is local fast let me click install here and the configuration utility will start to install the profile into my iPad and let's go back to my iPad it show up this uh, screen as uh, uh, you want to install this profile yes and I have to input my pin 
to authorize this installation. And they will also ask me for the username and password for this uh, SSID, for, for, for this wireless LAN. And uh, I'm still using the Cisco and the Cisco as username and password. And uh, let's con click Next. And here we go. I've already installed the profile and uh, let's go back to the wireless LAN and uh, click uh, the local fast and see if I can connect it to the SSID. Check. Yeah, here we go. I got connected and uh, still using the same as uh, IP address as 92 and uh, 90.2. And as I can see, I'm connected to the local fast and uh, yes, 90.2. And I'm still using the Cisco as a username for authentication. And uh, for the authentication EAP type, I'm using EAP fast here. So, as I always say, uh, the configuration on a wireless LAN controller for the local EAP is very simple. And uh, thank you for watching this video.